Hello, YouTube. Emotions. They're powerful, influential, and very fickle. And our feelings are all over the place. Feelings are fleeting. They're just like any of our other senses. Don't allow your emotions to make you their bitch. That's the... I need to go back to kinder, gentler, less swearing, more pious behavior. But I'm a total creature, I suppose. Essentially, remember that how you feel in any given moment is not the reality of your life in a given moment. Every feeling is valid and is providing you some information, but there are a million moments that constitute your life. They all string together in this endless giant picture. And emotions come and go very fleetingly for a variety of reasons. Your decisions and your reactions, your behavior, and how you choose to repetitively respond to and condition yourself to respond physiologically and psychologically to a mood state, that's what's going to string together to create your endurance, your perseverance, your capacity to tolerate strong emotions, your capacity to remain serene and happy regardless of fleeting ups and downs, to not make lasting, impactful, life-altering, reactive decisions or repetitive bad habits to treat a temporary problem fighting your emotions, trying to quell your emotions rather than allowing them to be and realizing it will pass. It always does, whether it's negative or not. And that negative emotions are acceptable emotions. You're not going to feel happy all the time. Not in that emotional sense of happiness. Feelings are fleeting. inner peace, personal conduct, behaviors chained together, calm responses, acceptance, making positive, repetitive responses to passing emotion, allowing it to go through you, not reacting in some way such as Arguing, drinking, smoking, fighting, believing it constitutes your life. All the many quelling things we can do to solve a temporary situation. Denying our emotions, feeling guilt for our emotions. Feelings are just bits of information. They're not your reality. Your response to and your perception of your emotions will constitute your life. If every time you get anxious, you go out and take a walk, if that's your response to anxiety, the reality is that your health will improve. Being out in nature is good for our mental health. Exercise is good for our mental health and our physical health. And <clears throat> if this is your conditioned response to deal with sadness. Your life will end up much better than many another option. A feeling is a fleeting, fickle thing. Don't let them rule you. And don't feel as though it will go on forever or it denotes something bad about you. It's just a piece of information. It's how you choose to perceive, react, and perceive that's going to accumulate to be 
your life, not your feelings. So when you have feelings that are not your best, choose your thoughts, choose your perceptions, and carefully choose your reactions. It's just one little moment, like an itch that you want to scratch. Let it go. It won't matter two seconds from now. You won't even remember why you were upset. So don't make a lasting, impactful decision that's based on fleeting information. Your life will be chaotic. Up and down, up and down, up and down. <clears throat> because you're reacting to an up and down barometer rather than reacting to reality your belief systems in your inner state. Feelings aren't facts. They're useful. But they're not facts. Love you guys. Bye, YouTube.